Hey guys, it's taken me a long time to make this video, and I know I haven't talked to many of you in a long time if you're not in Discord, but I wanted to kind of give you a rundown of what I've been doing in Albion. Yes, I've still been playing the game, and we've actually come very far in the last uh, eight or nine months or so. I think the last time I gave you guys a net worth update, I was hovering right around 4 billion. And I think we are, we're well past 12 billion now, maybe even up to 13 billion. So I've actually three times my uh, total assets over the last nine months in Outbid, which I would have liked for it to be faster, but uh, I thought I'd kind of walk you guys through my thought process for the game and kind of just where I've been for the last few months, what I've been up to and where I plan to go for the future. So a lot of this is stuff you guys already know, like uh, my guild here. Some of you guys have requested to join this guild, but this guild is 100% just me and my accounts. Uh, almost all of these accounts are running premium. I think there's probably 10 or so down here, maybe 10 to 20 that aren't running premium, and then the rest just ran out, so I have to renew those. But I have about 120 accounts running premium right now, so if you do the quick math on that, it's something like 1.25 billion silver I'm spending every single month in premium. So just in premium cost alone, it's almost 15 billion a year. But I've been doing the usual stuff, by ordering ore and uh, hauling it to Thetford. But the biggest thing that I've changed is I'm beginning to craft some of the bars. So I have, you can see, 1.25 billion in bars here, along with various food for my plots, and then some armor that I've crafted over the last couple days, and uh, a lot more bars. So I have probably close to a 3.5 billion here in like actual value. And um, I do have some plots here in Bridgewatch that I purchased. So I have three plots here on the west side of town that I use for my personal crafting here in Bridgewatch, and that's where the majority of my bars are going at the moment. But then obviously I have buy orders on the market and all this stuff, and uh, really I'm just focused on growing the value of my alts. So I have a little over a hundred alt accounts that are focus refining, and that's where the majority of the profit comes from. But I was running into the issue of just what to do with all the bars because yes i can refine like 6.0 and 7.0 and make a stable 400 to 500k profit per day depending on the prices but at the same time if i could find a way to you know make 6.3 5.3 all the 0.3s and 0.2s if i could make these consistently i would go from making you know 400k 400,000 silver per day per account which still isn't bad that's about 40 million profit but across all 100 of the accounts. But the main issue is that if I were to refine like these, for example, or these, I could go from making 400K per day, which is a decent amount, to making upwards of 1.2 to 1.5 million per day. So you're talking going from making only 40 million silver per day to making 125 million silver per day with relatively no change in the amount of work, you know, a bar is a bar, a focus point is a focus point. It takes about the same amount of time to spend 30K regardless of what you're making. So to literally triple your income just off of that change, that is the main thing that I've been working towards currently. But you can see I have my islands here in Thetford, another 200 mil and just various bars. Most of these are all low tier stuff. Again, another low tier tab, 300 million. And then here is the focus refining tab. This is where I focus refine all the bars. So we have another 1.5 billion in bars here. And uh, yeah, outside of that, uh, I've just been running the plots and uh, all kinds of things. But right now, my total income in the game across the plots and the alt accounts, we're looking at about 1.5 billion or so profit after premium cost. So I'm bringing home about 3 billion silver per month in... Um, in like total like revenue, but again, about 1.2 to 1.5 billion of that just goes to maintaining the premium on the accounts. So obviously that adds up a lot across nine months. I've probably spent close to 10 billion silver just in premium cost since we last spoke, but I've just 
been, you know, kind of trying to slowly grow the number of alts I have and uh, slowly buy up more and more plots of land, expand, and hoping, again, if I can figure out a good way to use all of those 0.3 bars, then sometime by the end of the year, we can look into getting closer to three to four billion per month rather than getting you know 1.2 to 1.5 billion per month which 1.5 billion a month is a decent amount but nowhere near uh, my long-term vision for the game i fully intend to play this game at least as like outside of any drastic change to albion uh, to the player base numbers or just content in general you know I plan on playing for all of next year, continuing to grind away at the progress, hoping by the end of the year to go from 13 billion, if I can, depending on how quickly I can get those uh, more valuable alts up and running, go from 13 billion closer to 15 to 18 billion around there. I'd like to get my income up to that three and a half to four billion mark by the end of the year. So starting january of 2023 i would like to be hopefully printing four billion silver per month and then by my two-year anniversary of playing the game which i started in april of 2021 so april of 2023 will be two years since i started the game i'm hoping to have somewhere around 25 billion silver so about two times where I'm at right now in the next four or five months is the main goal. That's the long-term vision. Short-term, uh, just getting... The biggest issue, as you can see, is I have what was probably close to five to six billion silver um, sitting in Ill illiquid bars right now. So finding a use for bars or just finding buyers of bars has been the biggest issue. I, manu I manufacture the bars here in Thetford a lot faster than I'm able to find buyers for them. But once we can get that situated and like I said, either use the bars myself or find a more long-term purchaser of the bars, then uh, can really start printing the money. As I make probably 10 to 20 percent profit on every bar so the faster i can get that bar sold and use that silver to get more ore bought and just uh just recycle and repeat the process the better as you can see i went around there all my plots so i own one two three and then i have the quad plot so i own four plots but one of them is a quad so i have a total of seven and uh, i plan to expand more but at the moment this gives me plenty. I have a cook for my cooking accounts. I have a tinker for my capes and plenty of smelters. The only thing I would get is maybe one or two more over here on this side of town. That way I kind of have a, regardless of which direction refiners go, they can run into one of my plots and use that and pay me silver. But yeah, um, if you guys would like to see and I kind of talked about it at the beginning, but for those of you that are still watching the video up to this point, you probably care a little bit more about my content and what's going on. So if you guys would like to see, I would like to more document, even just for my sake, rather than teaching and making money-making guides, more document the process that I'm going through. Because you can, you can follow exactly what I'm doing. And if you're willing to, you know, make even 10 to 20 alts and uh, run them efficiently, you can make upwards of half a billion silver per month because you know you can refine the more valuable stuff that i was talking about the point threes and with only 20 accounts you're only looking at selling you know a few stacks every three days so you can easily find a buyer for those or just sell them on the market and make a lot more silver than i'm making on all 100 of mine the main issue being that like i said i have six billion silver in bars and i actually have like i said here maybe 30 or 40 accounts that just ran out of premium yesterday or the day before that. So, uh, got to get bars sold and get that paid for, which is unfortunate because, you know, every day that those 40 accounts aren't running is 16 million silver 
uh, down the drain, you know, so an entire month on just those accounts is almost half a billion silver. So definitely need to get that premium renewed. But yeah, I'd love to um, at least make a, you know, a video or two a week kind of documenting the process, what we're going through, anything that comes up and uh, let you guys follow along on my journey to becoming what will hopefully be the wealthiest, uh, at least wealthiest economy player in Albion Online. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of other, you know, guild leaders and stuff that just have more hands than I have. You know, they have an entire guild of players out there doing work for them. And I don't really fully intend on doing that, at least in the long term. But in the short term, my main goal is, like I said, making three to four billion per month by the end of the year and then getting to 20 to 25 billion by the time my two year anniversary rolls around. And then long term, my goal is still to get to a billion silver in income per day. So I'm about, you know, I would say with the accounts I'm running right now at max efficiency, I'm about 10% of the way there. And um, definitely gonna have to find ways to uh, increase the turnaround of my silver, start getting my investment back faster and faster but yep we're at about 13 billion now and uh definitely stop into the discord i'll have a link to the discord server down below if you'd like to talk me talk to me or ask me any questions about how it's been going in albion if you guys have any questions about you know the process of how i got to this point you can check previous videos on the channel they'll go through all the refining that i did mainly focus refining and uh, the other occasional alts that I've set up in the process. But if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys for a future video, hopefully a lot sooner than last time. Take care, everybody.